Hey again, guys. You know what I like to do when they come up with a vaccine for Corona? I like to look at some baseball cards. I have uh, a series of things I'd like to show you now. Some old, some new. But I'd like to start off with a big disappointment. So, I come from near where Arnold Palmer's from. And, uh, you know, I used to golf at his country club and stuff. And... I got him to sign me an old Balada golf ball. And man, I just love this autographed golf ball. It's just a beautiful signature on it. And so I'm working at my desk the other day and I look over where I have my golf balls displayed and I see something that looks bad. I don't know what the heck happened, but my golf ball totally blew apart. Very disappointed. Very disappointed. Never saw that happen before. I guess shouldn't get Balada balls signed, maybe. Those old Balada balls were pretty soft. But, um, I don't know. The temperature stays pretty steady in my card room. So anyway, was disappointed in that. So let's look at some cards. First, we have from the first top set, 1948 Magic Photo, Ty Cobb. This is a really nice example. Then I have this uh, strip card of Ty Cobb, and it is just outstanding. Whoever graded this card must have been smoke and crack. I can't find anything wrong with this card. I've seen, you know, several of these, and this is the nice one I've ever seen. I don't know what's going on with PSA, but I was on eBay today and I must have seen five sevens, vintage sevens, that were a mess. I mean, they weren't sevens. You know, I buy my cards based on looks, not based on slabs, because, man, I often pay up for, um, you know, great looking twos, fours. I mean, these sevens I saw had surface flaws, spots on people's faces, off center. I mean, they just didn't look good. I don't care if there is seven. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Here's a 1952 Wheaties, Ted Williams. There's another one that's a portrait, but I always like the action poses myself. And I have some old Stallmeyers here. These are very rare. I have a Hank Bauer. This is what these look like on the back. These are very rare cards. You will find them pretty much only in like usually 1, 2, 1.5 range. And here's a Roy Campanella. Very rare. Here's a Johnson Cookie Johnny Logan. These are tough to find too. And this is a rare McGregor. Roberto Clemente. The Willie Mays is nice in this set, too. It's a sought-after card. And here I have an old Pele oversized card. I got a couple, uh, just got these today. Project 220. 2020. Willie Mays. And there's a certain skateboarder on here that probably got this one. Mark McGuire. And he's out for the season, but man, he's good. I got a Devin Bush rookie. Here's a Justin Turner rookie. Here's a 1958 Dick Hyde. One of my favorite sets. Here's a 1965 transfer somebody sent me, and I was glad to get this because I'm a Bob Veal fan. And they also sent me this Phil Regan. Regan. <clears throat> and we have a Ray Ray McLeod autograph rookie. Really exciting runner. Playing for my Steelers now. And I got these tops now from the World Series. A Rosarena. 
And I got this Clayton Kershaw. And I had got um, a couple of uh, Bob Gibsons and somebody threw these in. This is an old Baseball Digest puzzle. Crossword puzzle. From back in the day. And this is when, uh, I guess this is a cutout from a newspaper when he signed his last contract. And my wife and my daughter only are loud whenever I make a video. When I go back downstairs, you won't even hear them talk. <laughs> and I have a bit of a, I have a bit of a product um, review, I guess. Um, so I, I, you know, I use the Perfect Fit sleeves. I guess they're called Superior Fit now. Superior Fit uh, for graded cards, uh, for my uh, magnet one touch holders magnetic and um so they were they were out you know during the corona thing i couldn't find any of them they must have uh, not had any in so i tried uh two other brands one was uh the cardboard gold i think uh, psa sleeves and those are pretty nice those those work well but i got these and i got a nice big thick package of them but they're very disappointing they're nice and thick, and they're fine on the card. The problem is they don't stick. And so every single one I, I put on there, um, when you go back the next day, the flap is off. They, they just don't stick down. Um, so I bought these for nothing. But um, I don't know, maybe I got a bad batch. But I just thought I'd share that information before. Uh, might help you out. I don't know. Um, I don't do a lot of product reviews, but I was very disappointed in this thing. And I was very disappointed in my owner, Palmer. <laughs> Golf ball exploding. Very sad about that. And that's what I have for you today. <laughs> I got some good stuff to show you coming up. But that's what I have for you today. Thanks for watching.